Bonten and New Brunswick in Canada, fourth in the 1500 meters and 12th in the 800 in Doha, the Worlds. So many athletes here who have succeeded in the past. Scott Regley on the podium, McKillop Regley at the top. Underway in the final of the men's 1500 meters, T37. Sometimes the T38s have been mixed in this as well, which is a stronger category of self the athlete, but it hasn't mattered to McKillop because he's gone off and beaten them all. Dobson, Jamai, Stanley, Ahorak, Scott Dominguez, Espinosa, and Michael McKillop in this final. It's really a strong start straight away. Although Jamai has got out too quickly. We'll have to consider. It's good to see Ivan Espinosa here, the first ever track athlete to qualify for a Paralympic Games. Maji Jamai, bronze in the 1500 meters in those world championships in Doha, where conditions were knocking on 40 Celsius every day, despite it well being out of summer. Scott and McKillop side by side, as they have been so often down through the years. Three laps to go. They know each other's games so well. They do, and side by side they go. I wonder if uh, they can just dictate the race. I don't think they'll be too worried about Jemai out in front. Uh, it's not likely he can continue that pace. And now McKillop just eases a bit away from Australia's Brad Scott. And uh, we had Aharak of Morocco also reasonably handily placed in the red shirt there. But, uh, Scott's just let uh, a couple get away from him. And McKillop in second place. And they're just starting to move up on our front runner, Jemai. Yep. He's decided to put the foot down a bit, Scott, and McKillop's decided to put the foot down on Jemai as well. Jemai still leads. McKillop in second place. In third is Liam Stanley, who was originally expected to be playing here in the international football. But he's worked well on the inside and on the outside. It's Hafid Aharak of Morocco. Brad Scott's in fifth place. Got about 850 metres to go. Jemai for Algeria. Now McKillop's up on his shoulder. Stanley. Aharak, two laps to go. Scott is in fifth place. Dobson in sixth for Canada. And McKillop now will decide to make a move and take the lead in this men's 1500 metres final with around 700 to go. He's come up alongside Jamai. The pace has slowed and a leader with 700 remaining is Michael McKillop. And in second place is Liam Stanley. Six seem to be in it. And... Uh... Brad Scott at the trail of the field and his main rival at the front. Michael McKillop is dictating terms now. Our runaway front runner uh, Arahak has come back to the field. And so it's McKillop's, you would think, to, to lose from here. He's such a powerful runner over the last uh, lap and a half. Expect him to do the job as That's... they come into the home straight. Well, McKillop's in the lead and it's Stanley on his shoulder who's put in a great performance so far. And the man from Victoria and British Columbia, well, they will have been roused out of the beds early this morning. We're at the bell, and McKillop has got Stanley on his shoulder. Jamai is in third place. Aharak is in fourth. In fifth for Canada is Dobson. McKillop, a very strong club runner as well. He's won in the IAAF circuit regularly. He's won races in the likes of the Morton Games in Dublin. McKillop's leading this, but he hasn't shaken off Liam Stanley yet. He's got a lot of stamina, this Canadian. McKillop's having to fight very, very hard, a real battle for the gold for him this time. McKillop is holding on. McKillop keeping the lead. Stanley in second place. Now he begins to put the hammer down. And Michael McKillop, who's been in this situation so many times before, the three times Paralympic champion across Beijing and in London leads Liam Stanley heading into the final straight and Rio de Janeiro is going to hear the Irish national anthem it's Michael McKillop heading for the line and for the third Paralympic Games it will be gold for McKillop brilliant running from McKillop once more he's the champion on the treble 4-12-12 Stanley a brilliant silver for Canada Third is Jamai for Algeria. Fourth for Morocco will be Aharak. Fifth for Canada will be Dobson. And sixth for Australia will be Brad Scott.
No podium for Brad this time. And a lot of hard yards being done. Espinosa in eighth. Dominguez will be in seventh. Michael McKellar gets the acclaim of the engine now in Rio de Janeiro. Paralympic champion again. It's very hot here. <laughs> as in seventh place, Dominguez crosses the line. And Espinosa in eighth. The first ever track and field athlete from the Virgin Islands to compete at the Paralympic Games. Only the second Paralympian from his country ever. He's going to cross the line now. He's done it. And he's won his own race. 30,000 acclaiming.